The system management server or SMS host is defined by a Vagrant file. We are using a Bento image which is available on Vagrant Cloud for CentOS 7.7. .7. While the size of the Vagrant file is trivial, the final image when downloaded is over 400 megabytes. The Vagrant file defines certain parameters for our VirtualBox virtual machine. The VM has two virtual CPUs, each with a processor execution cap of 50%. This is to ensure that no runaway processes on the VM will cause your host to become unresponsive. The VM also has two virtual networks. Adapter 1 is a NAT, allowing the virtual machines to talk to the internet through your host machine. And Adapter 2 is your virtual HPC network, which is isolated from other networks. The Vagrant file also hosts additional parameters. One of the benefits of Vagrant is that it automatically configures a shared folder between your host and your virtual machine. These are located wherever the Vagrant file is stored. Note the path here, and this is a Windows environment. When we open a Git session, which emulates a console, we are at the same location, and we can list all the files, and you can see the same files are located here and here. If we were to create a new file, that shows up in the Windows Explorer, and we delete it, and the file is gone. Since this is the location of the virtual machine as defined by the Vagrant file, I have opened up an SSH session to that machine. We can verify this is the host, and we are in slash Vagrant on the virtual machine. Slash Vagrant on the virtual machine maps to the location of the directory on your host machine where the Vagrant file is stored. We can see all the same files that are located here in the virtual machine. Now we will refresh the screen every two seconds to see the file contents in slash Vagrant. Watch the screen here. We've created a new file inside the virtual machine and is located in the Vagrant file directory on the host machine. Now watch this file here. I'm removing the file from the virtual machine. It is removed from the host machine. That is a very useful feature for this virtual lab. You can share any files from your host machine with the virtual machine by storing them in the same location on your host machine as the Vagrant file for the VM.